So Harvest is our beer we make in the fall when the hops come in from the farm and into the processing plant. We pick a hop and we get it wet overnighted from the farm. We put it into a pretty simple rye pail to take a look at what it is this year and how it's gonna taste and give us an idea how it'll work as an ingredient down the road. This year we're using Citra, which is a hop we use a lot around the brewery. It's in both 077 and Boat Beer. And we like it, so beginning of the year we said, let's do Citra this year. So we're using wet hop Citra that were overnighted to us from Washington and we put them in the Whirlpool of the brew of our harvest beer. And then we're gonna dry hop it with some whole cones of Amarillo we have. Is I, I see it as an opportunity to get a look at what's going on. Hops are very fragile and you really don't have time. Basically, I wouldn't want to be using them three or four days after they were picked, right? You, you either pick them and put them in beer wet or you pick them and dry them. But when you first get them that day when they're fresh and you can get a real feel for what they are, it gives you an idea of what the whole harvest is like because you know citra year to year. So you get to look at citra this time right as it's been picked and see what it's gonna do. We buy a lot of our hops from Yakima, so we figured this year seeing what the Yakima harvest looked like and hops we're very familiar with, citra and Amarillo both playing a part in boat and 077. I like ingredients and I like variation. There's, there are subtle differences wet hop, dry, dry whole cone pellet in the concentration of flavor you get. And those variations are, are fun, right? For different beers, you want different effects, you want different amounts. And I mean, it's the subtlest nuance, but, but it keeps things interesting. It keeps things different. There's some greenness that comes along with wet hopping that's a neat addition, it's a neat ingredient, and it's especially fun in something like this harvest beer we do, which is a, essentially a simple rye, little bit of spice, very autumnal kind of flavor. Good alcohol, mouthfeel level about six, six and a half percent. All just to give the hop something to work against, but still be a seasonal beer because you can only get fresh hops in the Northern Hemisphere in autumn, so an autumn beer made sense. It's a really small batch, we only did one brew. So I think it'll make it to about, you know, let's say 30, 50 bars in that week. And then when it's gone, it's gone and we move on to the next thing.